when you're going to sell your business and people start doing due diligence, like you do, mm -hmm. they don't ask the owner a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They tell the owner, I'll be back in an hour. Yeah. And they start walking the production floor. They start walking the labs. They start walking all these other things. And they start asking questions. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's it like working here? It's all right. What's been your growth in the company? I haven't grown much. Well, what's your wage growth like? I haven't received a wage in five years. And if you think that a potential buyer of a business isn't paying attention to those answers, then what they're doing is they're paying attention to the health of the DNA of the business that doesn't show up on paper. So in order to avoid uh, multiple compression, value compression in your own business, I'd like you to go back over the next couple of months and re-immerse yourself and ask the questions of your own business that you would ask of a business that you would buy. Mm -hmm. You may not like the answer. Also, try to have some other people do it, including third parties. I brought in a few third parties to do assessments, and I was deathly scared that they were going to tell me how screwed up we were. Mm -hmm. And they did. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I was shocked is because when I would ask the same questions, you got different answers. I would get a totally different answer. They're not going to tell the boss or the supervisor how bad Susie is because they would worry about the repercussions. Mm -hmm. So spend a little money on having third-party assessments come in and prepare yourself for very bad news.